Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength here, back with another Accounting for Beginners video. This happens to be number 102 in the Accounting for Beginners playlist. My classic series. All right, look, I got a whole other playlist, bunch of other videos. I have, and this, this video is gonna be, are y'all ready to have some fun, man? Come on, let's get it in. Let's get it in. Let's get it in, come on. This is gonna be a crude first cash basis. Basically, we're gonna talk about accruals for just a couple minutes. Now, if you wanna go through my playlist, I do have, these are accruals, touch on, touches on adjusting, adjusting entries. And I have uh, uh, videos, I think 31, 32, early 30s. If you go on my playlist, I have a bunch of videos on adjusting entries, accruals, deferrals, uh, I don't think I specifically touched on accrued versus cash basis and what that is. Now, in bigger and bigger huge and bigger companies, it is a, a, uh, followed by GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles. I don't want to get in. Uh, basically, a lot of bigger companies would do accruals, would have accrued expenses, accrued revenues. And smaller companies would have cash basis. You would accrue accrue revenues and expenses to do to use the matching principle. To mean when an accrued revenue, you earn the revenue, but you haven't been been paid the cash all been paid the cash yet. So you did the work, you haven't been paid the cash. So to keep it uh, maybe on a a yearly income statement, let's just say, let's just go by the end of the year. You did the work for someone in, November, in uh, December, okay? But you didn't get paid at the end of the year. Now you have to do your income statement and balance sheet. You have to do your financials for the end of the year, but you haven't got paid. Well, when you have a big, a big huge multi-million dollar business, you wanna keep your, it's called a mat, the matching principle. You wanna match up your expenses and your revenues. So you would do a journal, you would do a journal entry recording, recording your revenue, but not, but not the money you got yet. You wouldn't record the money because you didn't get the money. So that's an accrued expense. Accrued is no, no cash. Okay. Accrued is no cash yet. For an accrued expense, it's service performed, but paid later. So you would write down that, um, someone did the work for you record the expense, but then you would record the payment later. I have journal entries and other videos and stuff. Now let's get to the more easy, the more cash basis. You record, you don't do, you don't do any journal entries or any recording until cash hits your sticky little hands. Now I remember that from a uh, class I took in, in college. And I always remember that when the teacher said, when the cash sticks, when a cash gets your little hands, Okay, accrual, accrual is a matching principle and revenue recognition and all that. The, the cash basis is way more easier and then small, smaller businesses like service businesses and stuff uh, can, it's not really gonna mess up, mess up everything too much, you know. It's not really gonna mess up their books too much, they don't have a multi-million dollar business. Um, a lot of smaller businesses use cash the cash basis because it's easy. Now you have to be consistent whether you're doing accrual or cash basis. You can't switch back and forth. Um, so, you know, a, accrual is when you're is when you're waiting. You know, waiting to record for whatever reason uh, because of different periods, and you want to keep your periods uh, straight and congruent. Like, like you know, when you when you actually had the revenue come in or when you had the expense go out, you wanna record the revenue or the expense in the period it happened. Just to keep, uh, to say, oh, we had a good month here, or a bad month here, or a bad year, good year. Now the cash basis doesn't really uh, matter at all that. It just matters when the cash hits your sticky little hands, or you give your cash little sticky hands, right? You know, and you can just go by like, did you get did you get cash yet? Did you pay cash for it? If it's on cash basis, you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna record it yet. 
I think that's the biggest, that's the biggest uh, difference between the two. And um, yeah, this is just a short little video, accrual versus cash basis. All right, accrued revenue earned but, but not paid cash yet. Accrued expenses, service performed but paid later. Cash basis, you record when the cash hits your sticky little hands. All right, that was just a quick little video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I will see y'all next time. All right, CPA Strength, and I'm out. Deuces.